So it's a, a lovely summer's day here in England and uh, I thought it was time because I can get outside and record to, to get back to two beer networking. And what I want to do today is talk about what's wrong with network diagrams. The thing about network diagrams is that they're just incredibly difficult to do. Um, using software like Visio, which is not designed to make network diagrams, it's designed to be a general purpose tool. And yeah, there are tools out there that are supposedly customized for doing network diagrams, but the simple reality is uh, that most of those don't actually work the way you want. Um, and they're also incredibly expensive. Because of that, network diagrams tools will never be particularly successful. We're never going to see a market for network diagrams and increasingly that market is actually going away. Why? And I'll talk more about that in a little while but of course the answer is SDM. Because network diagrams are incredibly hard to do, there are no tools that are optimized for it. Yes we all use Visio, I use Omnigraph or... But really the time that we've taken to create that stuff is just not a very efficient use of time. It's incredibly expensive. I've spent weeks doing diagrams at you know, highly inflated consultancy rates. The whole process of network diagrams should just be something automated. I mean, it's gotta be a tool that's obvious for automation. Why do we spend hours drawing lines and adding IP addresses when all that data exists to be gathered by a piece of software and theoretically populated? And I think that in the early days of networking, we really didn't have that many devices in our data center. So it made sense for us to do it that way because any sort of tooling that we would create uh, to do the diagrams would take so much time and effort or cost so much money that it was just easier to whip something up in Visio. And over time that's culturally developed in a situation where we think there has to be a network diagram and without a network diagram something's missing about your operational status. Now for small to mid-sized networks it's certainly possible to do all those diagrams and get something useful but really we need to find a way to automate it. Ultimately diagrams are better than nothing. Um, so if you've got no other tools available, which is pretty much where we've been for the last, you know, 20, 30 years in networking, there's never been a tool to help you own networks or operate networks. So really it's been about um, this situation where network diagrams was the only tool you had. Don't get me wrong here, I'm not advocating that no, you don't need a network diagram. It's better than nothing, but anything is better than a network diagram. In reality, network diagrams are pretty awful. Um, they don't really capture any of the information you want. Like as data centers get more complicated, we're looking at things like VMware NSX, we're looking at virtual firewalls and virtual appliances. What's the meaning of a network diagram when you don't, ha when your virtual appliances are actually dynamic, they actually move around? Or what's the meaning of them when firewalls are dynamically instantiated? So in the case of NSX, the firewall instances are being put into the virtual switch. You're having a network diagram makes no sense. In, in terms of layer two data center interconnect where people are v-motioning VMs between two data centers, again, what's the value of a network diagram in terms of capturing that information? Like the real return on investment, so for the time that you spend doing a diagram, there is certainly a value in terms of you thinking about your network and studying your network and getting the data in there. I don't disagree with that problem. Like writing a story about something and it gets you uh, making that happen. Who extracts value from network diagrams? Is that you? Is it a manager? Is it a project manager? Is it the server team? Do you have to spend many hours teaching the server team how to read the diagrams to be able to make something useful of them? Is it really something that we want to, you know, in terms of once you've created a diagram and you've invested, you know, hundreds of hours putting it together and getting all the data on there and getting it in a format that you like and you've got layers and Visio templates of the actual switches and blah 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 who extracts value from that work so if you're going to create this asset you need to create a return on the asset that you've done the thing that you spent work time creating needs to create a return diagrams are useful for engineers including you but they're not useful to anybody else they're not useful for managers they're not useful for server admins maybe as a way of having a communicated language between you and an architect or a change control team but even then, that's a fairly tenuous set of value. Most change control people can't look at a network diagram and understand what's going on. Where's the value in a network diagram in terms of a business flow? What does it do to help create more products or sell more products? Yeah, a network diagram is good for you. It helps you feel in control of the network, but I don't think, I don't think it really does much in terms of communicating to other people in the team. Uh, and yeah, it, there is some value in terms of uh, 
leaving something behind so that the next person who comes along or if an outsider comes in to work on your network there's a baseline of documentation that they can consume. Come back to my original point the value you can extract from a network diagram is that it should be an automated thing and increasingly as our networks get larger and larger and more sophisticated it does need to be something else. As I was working way by my beer I, it struck me that well there's no real answer to network diagrams and network diagrams even if you could make an automated network diagramming tool what you still haven't addressed is the holistic problem of how to understand what the network is doing and that ultimately is where software defined networking I think is changing it. ultimately there's other things that you need you need asset management we need configuration backups we need monitoring data and if your network diagram was actually linked to all of that then actually start the network diagram itself starts to become useful and so if you've looked into any of these networking tools like NSX or ACI or Appstra or um, any of the SD-WAN platforms from say Cisco's Viptela or um, Talari or Silverpeak all of those tools actually contain network diagrams in them you don't need to create your own network diagrams because those SDM platforms capture all of that data for you you are able to see the assets you're able to see the links you're able to see the monitoring you're able to see the analytics configuration back up the asset management zero configuration what i'm trying to say is i think that the time for network diagrams is probably passing us by and over the next few years this idea of manually creating diagrams is probably pretty much done and we need to start thinking about a post automation a post diagram world where the network configuration is automatically updated in some sort of a platform and the diagrams are just part now that doesn't mean that for a particular documentation or a particular firewall setup or a particular piece of the network you don't use a diagram or a tool to create and log all of those because that might make sense to write up what the intention was to stop and capture it at this single point in time the network diagram doesn't actually capture any change so unless you're continually updating these things time after time year after year um, and then of course your diagram gets diagram diagram drifts away from what's true in the network and at some point so I just don't think that diagrams are sustainable in the long run that's not to say you know like I said you're probably needing them they're good for you today but long term one of the key features of SDN is it probably means that network diagrams are over